just had an awesome day recording more content for you guys got the camera bag here got some camera equipment gopro equipment stands drones one of my drones a little bit of everything here in the orange michael cores i wanted to come back here and record this video because it's a six month review of the m017 one ali gloss black rims that i picked up through wild hammer motorsports by the way all that squeaking was my little palm right here so let's jump into it look at that old mpp suitcase muffler right there let's go out to the garage six months ago i installed these rims on the car i did an unboxing and install video on the channel as you see the thumbnail pictures popping up down below feel free to go check out those videos as well they're popping up in the cards in the corner there so we're going to get a closer shot of the wheel here don't mind how dirty the rims are. I haven't had time to wash them yet, and I don't work in the cleanest place in the world, but um, it is what it is. So, as you can see, the rim specs are popping up on the screen there, just so you can get a quick idea of what's going on. And they're fitted with 285 30ZR20s in the front, and the rears are 305 30ZR20s. Now let's go ahead and get the quick one out of the way, the easy one here, road debris. How well do they hold up to road debris? Now, this is my daily driver. I put about 22,000 miles on it a year, so quite a bit of driving is done to this car. Um, but hey, that's what they're built for, right? Drive it, enjoy it, and love every second of it. So I noticed when the rims first came in, I had one rim that had um, a bubble in the paint, and it looked like somebody may have touched a portion of it, and it peeled some of the paint up, but not really noticeable at all so pushing those things aside with the uh the factory error and the paint there i haven't noticed really any rock damage so far knock on wood um let me get a closer look here so as you can see there's no really visible rock damage at all other than what's on here right now just the dirt from where i work see this comes off it's just smudges Today's clean day, so I will be washing it after this. But no visual rock damage, and the uh, the lugs that came with the wheels are holding up pretty well. I read some reviews where they said these lugs tend to twist a little bit, um, but so far so good. I did ch I thoroughly check every rim about once a week just to verify, and all of these look just like this, guys. Other than the slight dirt buildup that's on this one, um, all of them. Um, they've held up really well to the elements so far. Now, there was some reviews also that said that these rims um, crack. I don't have any cracks so far, so thank God. That is another thing that I check for when I check these rims. So, thankfully, no cracks of any kind, and they're looking really good. Going back to the paint chips and things like that real quick, as you can see, there is no kind of pitting corrosion, things along those lines. There's a bunch of ambulances in the background, but that'll be all right. Let's go ahead and take a stroll to the back just to show you that all these, even though they're dirty, are pretty much in pristine condition. Yeah, I gotta wash this thing bad. just a quick recap other than the factory little paint bubble error and where it looks like somebody touched it they came in pretty good shape now once on the car six months later there is no physical rock damage on uh, these wheels which I'm very surprised because I tend to get rock chips a lot especially through here and uh, I got one up here and like two bad ones in the front here it's just things you can't avoid, guys. So most of my review videos, like this six-month review of the wheels here, tend to be uh, not as exciting as other videos just because I'm reviewing how a product has held up with time because there are people that consistently reach out to me and ask for these kind of videos. So, you know, why not do it if there are people out there that are curious about these kind of things? So that's how I feel about it. So I'll make the video and put them out there. 
As one person said it one uh, before, I'm the guinea pig sometimes. I try products out and I'll test them and review them before you know they go out and get that product. But hey, that's cool with me because I enjoy putting products on the car. So I wanna thank y'all for clicking and watching this video and stay tuned very soon. I have a more exciting video coming out next weekend. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button below if this video will help you go get these rims if you like these rims. And, um, and to stay up to date with the videos coming out very, very soon. Because uh, like I said, those are way more exciting. So until next time, guys, drive safe, have fun, go do some burnouts, why don't you? Peace out.